Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I am doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 11 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Fred has 10 pairs. He puts 2 pairs in, his ba in each basket. How many baskets does he have? Alright, so draw an array where each column represents the number of pairs in each basket. All right, so what do we know? We know that he has 10. He's putting two in each basket. So it says draw an array. So each column represents how many pairs are in his basket. So there, so we know there's two in his basket, each basket. So that means there's two in each column. And we know there's 10 pairs, so we can count until we reach 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now that we reach 10, that means there's two in each basket and he has five baskets. So 10 divided by two, that gives us one, two, three, four, five. So that means Fred, he has five, let's box that, baskets. And B says, redraw the pairs in each basket as a unit and the tape diagram. So this is a tape diagram. Now label the diagram with known and unknown information from the problem. So we know there's two in each basket. So let's draw two. And what we know is that there's two in each basket. So we can do two pairs. And then we know that in total he has 10 pairs. Then we were looking to find out how many baskets. So that's what we were finding out. And number two, but now we found out it's five. Number two says Miss Mayer organizes 15 clipboards and glue into three boxes. How many clipboards are in each box? Model the problem with both an array and a label tape diagram. Show each column as the number of clipboards in each box. So we know there's 15 in total and he organized them equally into three boxes. So that means that we have to find out how many are in each box. So let's see. We know there's they're equally organized in three boxes. So that'd be one, two, three. It says show each column as a number of clipboards in each box. So that means each column should have how many should have the same amount um, as like the clipboards in each box. So let's see, we can start with three because we know there's gonna be three columns since they're equally organized into three boxes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what we did here was we skipped count. Well, we didn't skip count, but we just kept on drawing on from three until we reached 15. So now that we did it, we have 15 divided by three, and that gives us five. So that means there's five clipboards in each box. And now it says model the problem with both an array, which we already did, but it says also with a label tape diagram. So let's do a tape diagram like above. And we know that they're separated into three boxes. In each box, we now know there's five. Before we didn't know that, before we were trying to figure out how many. And before, what we knew was that there was 15 in total. And we knew that it was in separate into three boxes. But now after we did the math, we know there's five in each box, so that'd be one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. So 15. So 15 divided by three is five. So there are five clipboards in each box. All right, next page. So number three, um, 16 action figures are arranged equally on two shelves. How many action figures are on each shelf? Model the problem with both an array and a label tape diagram. Show each column as the number of action figures on each shelf. So what do we know so far? We know there's 16. So let's actually try to start with a tape diagram this time. So 
There's 16 action figures, um, and they're arranged equally onto two shelves. So let's separate that in half. And since we know there's 16, we can keep drawing dots until we reach 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now we know there's A on each um, shelf. So let's follow what we know. So before we didn't know how many, so this was what we needed to know. What we knew was that there's 16 figures and there's um, two shelves. But now that we know there's um, eight figures on each side. So now let's draw an array. So each column represents how many are on each shelf. So there's eight on each shelf. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 divided by two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's answer in a complete sentence. How many are on each shelf? There are eight action figures on each shelf. Item number four, Jasmine puts 18 hats away. She puts an equal number of hats on three shelves. How many hats are on each shelf? Model the problem with both an array and a labeled tape diagram. Show each column as the number of hats on each shelf. All right, so 18 hats away. Let's start with the array. And she puts an equal number of hats on three shelves. So let's see, 18, there's three shelves. So what we can do is keep drawing shell, um, dots until we reach 18. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18. So that means that on three shelves, she has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six on each shelf. So 18 divided by three equals six. So now let's draw our tape diagram. So we know it's three shelves and there's six on each. So one, two, So now we know there's six hats on each shelf and our total number of hats are 18 hats in those three shelves. So now let's answer in a complete sentence. There are, wait, wait, six, on each shelf. Number five says, Corey checks out two books a week from the library. How many weeks will it take him to check out a total of 14 books? All right, so let's just make a tape diagram for this one. So what do we, so let's see, two books a week. So this is what I knew. No, two books a week. And he wants to check out a total of 14 books. So each section of the um, tape diagram represents like a week. So let's see, how do we find out how many weeks will it take him? Well, we can just keep on adding two until we reach 14. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and 13, 14. So that was 14. Um, so now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that means that um, it takes seven weeks for him to check out 14 books. So 14 divided by two equals seven. So it will take Corey 
seven weeks. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.